Pivot Ed here. Welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Well, I have been busy, to say the very, very least. Um, I finished off the blind men's quest, which was I had to go to those five areas and, you know, tell them the tales of what I've seen. I've had this quest since the very beginning, so I decided to get it ah, taken care of. I could hear your footsteps. Welcome back. There we go, the statue of Zeus. That was weird. Of Zeus. I had to see Tell Zeus's penis, so that was not necessarily the most entertaining of climbs for me, but it was fine. Um, happy place. People are the happiest in all the Greek world. They sing and dance into the night with full bellies and full hearts. But is it how it was described to me at all? The tales go that its lands are among the world's most beautiful, and its people among the most beautiful. Now that's out of the way, you owe me a tale. <laughs> you said the king killer Darius was hired to kill you too? He was. By my brother. Oh shit. Your brother? None of this is making any sense, old man. No. I trust you. So I will tell you. My brother and I are the last living sons of King Oh Jesus. Xerxes. Impossible. That would make you a king. I was. My name was Artaxerxes. I guided Persia through a time of peace. But my brother wanted the throne and plotted my death. Oh, man. Now, I hide here. Exiled. Living the life of a simple beggar. I will tell you more. But first... Yes, yes, a tale for a tale. I got the tales for you. I return to Mount Aegatos. Return. Tell me. Did you meet the mountain god who devours Spartan <laughs> children? The mountain is just a mountain like any other. What makes Taigetos a place of suffering is the people there. That is true of all the world's worst places. I tell this guy the truth. Child, I could tell from the moment I met you that you carried the burden of suffering. Let it stay in the past. I can understand now that. you tell me, King Artaxerxes. How can I believe your story? You don't exactly look like royalty. What does royalty look like? <laughs> well, that's the point. I am hiding. Show me proof. I could. You see, I knew a man named Themistocles. The Athenian general. I heard stories about him being ostracized from Athens. Mm. Over petty politics. He came to Persia to me, looking for refuge. I was king, but only a boy. He spent his days learning Persian and telling <laughs> me stories of his home. Places like the Acrocorinth, Mount Taigetos. The places okay. you wished you could see. I loved the tales and loved the Mistocles like a father. He was kinder to me than Xerxes ever was. Tell me one last tale. I can do I'll that. tell you why he hid his treasure. Oh. If you'd like to hear about the bird, I could describe it to you. It's kind of weird looking. Would make me happier. It's a majestic statue, built from the blades of fallen soldiers. It's so high above Stymphalos and the golden fields below. Up there, I could forget there was a war. It was pretty neat. So it is as it was told to me. The bird commemorates Heracles' fight against chaos, built on a place of calm. Hopefully, one draws out the best in the other. So, I've been to the five places the Mr. Cleese told you about in his tales. For that, my soul will be <laughs> that was kind of fun. grateful. As for my tale, the Mr. Cleese died peacefully in Persia. That's one of us. I promise him I'd see the places he told me about. His stories will live on in me. And now you. That's cool. And I like this. What of your story? I let the people believe Darius succeeded in killing me. So I could escape. Artaxerxes, there's something else you should know. Yes? My okay. grandfather was Leonidas of Sparta. That means... Your father, King Xerxes, killed my grandfather. Then you are bound by blood to avenge him. No. Artaxerxes, false king! What? 
This Mythos let me write to you. Time to finish what I started. What the frig? Please. I'll protect him. Yeah, screw this guy. Nice maneuvers. <laughs> Not bad for a blind man. Artaxerxes, are you hurt? Despite being bound by honor to avenge Leonidas, you saved me. Of course I did, man. You're a good, you. a good no person. Choice. That man wanted you dead. Must have been another one of your executioners. It was. If he doesn't return to Persia, my brother will send another. Then another. It's time this old man accepts his fate. <sighs> Be brave. You're a brave man, Artaxerxes. A trait I learned from Themistocles. Now, as for you, I owe you payment. Well, I did save your life, <laughs> and I went on an adventure for you, Your Highness. There you, you go. Did. Though much of what you said is not how I remember Themistocles telling it. Things change. change? Yeah. Ah, we approve of that, aren't we? Very true. Now. For the Mistoglis's treasure, find the tomb in Salamis where he made his triumphant stand against my father's navy. That's where your reward awaits. Cool. Okay. That's not that far away. We can do that now. Is there any fast travels handy? This trek. Where are we going? Um, son of a. I did this already. Okay. I came over here. I killed a uh, dude. We can do this. Let's do it. Let's just let's just go. Mr. Gleese's treasure is in Salamis. I wonder what it could be. Hopefully. It's a badass sword. Come on. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Or just another tail. That'd be great too. You know, I don't need riches. I've got riches beyond anything a man could need in this game. I've got like 40,000 drachma or whatever. Drachma? Dra uh, I got 40 grand of the things that you need for monies. There we go. 40 grand in monies. Monies. Yeah, that's a term. It's real. Um, yeah, so I got 40,000 of them. So I really don't need more monies. So I'm good. Um, I'm not doing that. I'm not killing fools. Shut your mouth. Whee! I knew it. You didn't want me. You, you don't. You don't love me anymore, horse. You big jerk. I'm gonna go steal a boat. I mean, that's what you do, right? You steal boats. I mean, when in doubt. I mean, I should be able to commandeer this. It's not that big. Oh, shut your mouth. Can I steal it? I can't commandeer your damn boat. Jerk. How about this warning? You can't do anything from over there. You do nothing. Jerk. Have fun. There we go. I don't know what their problem is. All I did was steal a boat. I mean, it's not like it's the end of the freaking world. I killed all the dudes last time I was over there. I didn't feel like doing it again. I did a quarry over here. I don't know if I actually record that for you guys. I've done so much playing stay in shallow waters in lately moment. that I just don't know what I've recorded and what I haven't. I know there was a couple of hours worth of uh, me goofing around. Uh, and again, I don't expect um, you guys to want to watch every little thing that happens in the game. What the hell? What do you mean reinforcements are coming? I'm not even fucking there. Jesus Christ, I stole your boat and I ran away. What the hell do you want from me? I'm going over here to get my treasure. Oh, shit. Come on, keep... Keep boating. There we go. 
We're just gonna fast travel when we're done out of here anyway. This looks good. This is a grand adventure. Watch this, this is my favorite part. Crash! That's what you do. Now I could call my horse, but you know, I just I I, I put him in the water for a good reason. No, there was no real good reason in that. I just felt the need to throw my horse in the water. I mean, that's what I'm... I, I'm, what, a minotaur now. So, I mean, I've got to pretend that I'm even badder than I am. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun. I've, I've done so many little fun little missions. It's been entertaining. Um, you know, nothing of any great consequence. Just little things all here and there. And it's been fun. You know, it's just been it. It's just been fun. Shit. What the hell is that? What the hell are you? Jesus Christ, man. Okay. You are quick, quick as a, quicker than you should be. There you go. Bandit leader's dead. Nice maneuver. I'm not doing what you said. There you go. You're dead. Oh, look at that. Treasure. Um, Prince of Persia. Is that it? Ooh, this is a big one. Okay, none of this was good. All this was bad. Lower level than me. Okay. Where I gotta find the tablet because that's apparently what I like to do now. Uh ah. I didn't know I could do that. that. Oh man, right in the forehead. Where the hell? Where's this little tablet thing? What the hell is that? Uh, what? Oh, that's right. I gotta get more seals because it's just how my life goes. I'm uh, not necessarily too freaking involved in that one. Um, I could still do that one. I mean, the bandits and the law. It's just a whole bunch of garbage. Which you end up doing this. This is what I've been doing. This is kind of like I've mentioned in the past. Is like one of my my greatest failings in the in, in the game has always been the fact that you'll run into things that are just it's just a grind every now and again, and it's not bad. It's not horrible. It's, it, it isn't. It truly isn't. So let's go figure out where this quest is that we're going on. I did take it right. Wait, I did a bunch of these with Socrates. I'm so confused. What quest am I doing? Talk to Demo Democritos. Okay. And he is where? So he is that way. So he's over here, somewhere. Where, where, where? Oh, oh, okay. It's showing here. I get it now. There he is. Um, okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. which is going to be quicker? Boat? 
Yeah, I think that'll be the one. And I gotta get out of here. So, so that was um, that was not nearly as much fun as I thought it was going to be. Uh, so what I will do, I'm not going to torture you guys with this endeavor. I'm going to make my fast travel, grab a boat, and head over. Or yeah, I'm gonna. I I will do that part. And then I'll bring you guys back along once we get over there. I'm not going to torture you with it. You've seen enough travel. And I'll see you guys shortly. Well, we made it. This place is dangerous People as hell. Sure like building boats. It's the shipyard of, of Greece, come man. Come. I need your help with some... Come to see the richest man in Achaia, have you? You don't look rich. <laughs> the richest person in any land is the one who wants for the least. And I want for nothing at all. Okay. Rich... Wanting for nothing and calling me over to help. Doesn't make sense. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> A mind that thinks for itself. Someone Thanks. save me from this horror. Uh. Relax, relax. The name's Democritos. Renowned thinker of thoughts, writer of rights, and questioner of answers. Okay. I'm Alexios. And I've never heard of you. Probably says more about you than me, Alexios. <laughs> wow. Now you came here to help, hmm? So happens, I've uncovered the whereabouts of three divine mathematical discoveries. Oh god, no. Mathematical discoveries? Really? Yes, really. The theorems, when combined with my own, will unlock the greatest mystery in the universe. Uh -huh. Which, as you know, is a place where mysteries strive to remain locked. Bring 42, man. It's the answer to everything. To me, 42. And I will reward you handsome. Okay. So, you get the theorems, and I get the reward. From a man who seems completely disinterested in Drachmi. <laughs> Drachmi is for idiots. What I offer is far greater than that. But first, the theorems. Fine. Whatever. What are they? Only the greatest achievements of rational thought. The original transcriptions of the Golden Ratio, the okay. Pythagorean Theorem, and Zeno's Paradox. Gotcha. I got it. I'll find these theorems for you. Come back as soon as you have one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it looks like we went from one crazy-ass quest to another. All far, far away. Let's see how far away these things are. Gosh, dang it. Um, okay, there's one down here. Well, that's weird. Why is it in the middle of the freaking ocean? Is there... Underwater. Okay. That's just going to be nuts. I got so much crap to do. Dang it. Why did I do this? Why do I do this to myself? Um, Shore of Lucris. This is it here. Uh... I need to have more shit un uncovered. I think that's what my problem is. Is like I've done a lot. Like I've done a lot of uncovering and, and wandering, but there's a lot of places I've yet to go to. So while I'm here, let us mark this. I mean, and this is part of my issue, and has been for some time, is that I will always constantly forget to do this stuff, and I don't know why. There's no reasoning for it. Oh, sorry, kid. Um, where am I going? Hopefully I'm not going to get in any trouble doing this. Potentially. There's a whole crew. Like level 40 something over here. It's just, that's death waiting for me. And I, I don't feel like dying. Okay. That's interesting. So what is it? A plate house? The Temple of Zeus. So this is all made out of old boats it looks like. That's kind of cool. With a boat for the stage. That's a, that's a really cool idea. I like that one. We're going to climb. And then we're going to do a bunch more questing. Um, and the fun part for you guys is that this is going to be a um, fairly short wait. For me, I'm going to call it an evening. Because I've been already playing for well over an hour tonight. Um, and I've probably recorded, what, 15, 20 minutes worth of stuff? <laughs> Uh, and like I said earlier, is like I don't really have any intentions of boring you guys with some of the side quests and stuff. Um, when it becomes interesting, I think it's more pertinent to bring you guys along. Um, 
you know, I thought this was going to be one of those major quests. I wanted to bring you along for the blind man one because, I mean, that was interesting. Uh, and this, I thought, was going to have potential as well that, oh, yeah, a little side quest, you know. I didn't realize it was going to be another one of those grand adventures of running all over Hell's Half Acre uh, trying to resolve the issues of the world. But that's okay. It's fine. I will see you guys shortly. Um, when I come back, I will have uncovered this all. Anything interesting happens along the way, obviously I'll bring you guys back. So yeah, hold tight. So I figured I'd bring you guys along for this one since it was underwater. <laughs> there we go. It was something different. There we go. They haven't been terribly hard to get. That's really cool. Stupid fish. I'm back on my boat, by the way. I did a fast travel to it. Uh, at least my lungs are decent again. Yeah, so these have not been terribly difficult. It's just basically go in, spot it, find it, jump in, grab it. Um, they've been in fairly easy to get locations. So this is not a terribly difficult quest. Uh, but like I was saying, I want to bring you guys in just because of the fact that it was unique and different. You know, these guys are yakking away, having their little little chit chatty okay so yeah we'll be back again well as you may have gathered I got the bits and pieces so we're gonna go and talk to the dude oh god you know it, it was not that difficult of a quest it was actually quite simple uh, basically run grab three bits that's it no fights no subterfuge no nothing just literally go and find the three bits and take it i paid a 33 dollar bounty because i stole something from a chest in front of some people i was okay with that i was like 33 bounty sure that alleviates my concerns and i'm going to probably get that and then some from this quest so we're fine i'm okay with it who knows what i'm actually gonna get so there you go <laughs> what have you brought me so I found Zeno's paradox. You did? <laughs> and what did you think of it? It was a paradox. The tortoise arrives at a point. Achilles, who is chasing it, runs after it. But after Achilles arrives at the same point, the tortoise has moved on. By the time Achilles arrives at the tortoise's new spot, the creature has again moved further. <laughs> exactly. It shows how the universe divides itself infinitely. A mathematical theory hidden in a child's fable. Zeno was clever. I like it. Every knowledgeable old man I've ever met was an idiot. <laughs> but the minds of children are endlessly wise. I won't argue that. I found the original golden ratio. A discovery that would change the course of existence. I, I, mm. At first, I didn't think I saw anything special about it. But... The sides of this diagram aren't even. The side marked A is almost half of the side marked B. Almost, but not quite. <laughs> a and B are to A as A is to B. So how can this theory be used? Used? <laughs> it isn't used, only observed. Okay. It is the divine balance occurring naturally in the most measurably beautiful places in the world. It is everywhere and nowhere. It took some doing, but I found the Pythagorean theorem. Yeah, it was the underwater. The greatest breakthrough the world will ever know. And now we have it in its original glory. <laughs> I thought it might be about the points of the triangle, but the theorem is about the length of the sides. Astute. We're showing him we're smart. <laughs> You're wiser than you put on. The two shorter sides squared, when added together, are equal to the square of the hypotenuse. That was a lot to take in, but I think I found everything. You did, and with this I can finally form my grand theory. The theory that simultaneously divides and unites all the universe. Uh-huh. All of this sounds ambitious. Ambition is okay. greatness by attempting mediocrity. <laughs> but I confess, I have a personal motivation. Okay. Everyone always does. Don't we all? <laughs> In another life, you would have made a fine student. When I was a student, I loved a poet. But I was so consumed by study, I never told her. I hope to use these theorems to show her my poetry. And maybe to win her heart. Wow. 
If that's what you want to do, let's do it. What? <laughs> right now? You missed your chance to tell her once, Timokritos. There is no point in missing it again. Let's I go. like that. You're right. This time I will do it properly. I never would have guessed you were a lover. Well, I wasn't. My theory that all atoms exist with the great void between them is a bit like the life I've lived. But not anymore. Now you're filling that void. Maybe. Maybe what fills the void and what draws us together is love. Save that line for the <laughs> poet, Demokritos. It's a good one. No! That's good! What? Are you fucking kidding me? Bandits? Like gigantic bandits? Why? Why? Jesus, he's mother of pearl. Why is everybody after me? Well, I took out one dude. Jesus H. Christ. But why? Jesus H. Christ. <laughs> Maybe I can melt four fucking two? <laughs> Jesus. Why? Why would you have a quest that was so fucking easy? Like, oh, go to point A, go to point B, go to point C. Da, da, da. Easy, easy. Okay, let's go talk to a lady. Shouldn't be too hard. Bandits. That kill you immediately. That's just silly. Silly, I say. Silly. But oh, well. It's life. Life in, in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I never would have guessed you were a lover. Okay, wait. Level 42. Why the fuck am I doing this? I'm not doing this. That's not what we're doing. So there you go, guys. Um, I don't know what else to do right now. I'm, I'm going to gather more seals. I think that's my next quest. We're almost at level 29. Um, I could go back and fight another one of those battles. Those are pretty rough. Uh, there are little side quests all over the place. Like if you go here. Um, here, I go into one of these. Most of the time I go into these places, there's these little side quests like that, you know, that have rewards and things attached to them. Uh, that I can actually do a bunch of these little ones, and that will end up gaining more rewards. And I can wander around and, you know, kill more of these jerks if I can spot anybody that's, you know, doable. And, and that's what I probably will do, is like, the, the amount of little side quests are innumerable. Innumerable. Well, they actually are a number, but... Um, there you go. See, I can do that one. I go here, fly up, boom. There's another one here. See, boom. Uh, another one was so Socrates. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll do. We'll do some. Uh, we'll do some off-camera stuff. But like I said, that's gonna be it for today for me. I'll see you guys soon. Take care, everybody. Bye bye. This is a song for all the.